My name is Justin Hansen, and depression is not always what you think it is. I think, in general, most people like to associate depression with you know, having this big failure, making some big mistake, maybe a death in the family, a stressful year, and then it's just kind of snowballing. In my experience, my depression was more just a misplaced identity is maybe the best way to say it. Uh, but for me, I was trying to find my identity in success. Um, you know, there's this popular saying that uh, we shouldn't try and find our identity in our failures. But I think we shouldn't try and find it in success either. Because it's not permanent and it doesn't really change your value as a person. For me, what that looked like is my freshman year, I was really involved in cross country and track. And I decided I wanted to be really good at it. I had been eighth on my team in cross country and my whole goal was to be the top runner in the school my sophomore year. I, academically, I just wanted to have a 4.0. I wanted people to know that I'm really good at school, I'm smart, I'm determined, take all these AP classes, things like that. Uh, my sophomore year, I hit all those goals. I went from eighth on the team to first on the team. I was starting to be all conference, all region. I was getting to be a pretty good athlete, started thinking about college running and things like that. Uh, I had all the success I wanted in school. I got straight A's. People knew that I was good at what I did in terms of that. Uh, but after the season was over in cross country, I just kind of realized that that success wasn't fulfilling me. It wasn't changing my identity. It wasn't building my self-worth. Um, and so I just kind of realized that, that that wasn't what defined me. And I didn't really know what did define me. So I kind of got into this depressive state of mind. Uh, what that looked like on a day-to-day -day basis would just be having no physical energy, no emotional energy, um, just sitting in class, losing focus, just trying not to cry. Nothing's necessarily wrong. I wasn't having a bad day, but just losing control of my emotions. Um, things just kind of snowball, and you just kind of get more and more depressed, and you kind of turn in on yourself a little bit. Uh, I would lock myself away in my room and just listen to really sad or kind of like loud music and just kind of drown myself in my own, my own issues. And I didn't want to be around people. Um, but what I realized later is I was never going to get out of it if I didn't let other people in to help me with it. Uh, I like to describe depression as like a 20 foot deep pit and you're just kind of sitting there. Uh, you can try to climb up those walls, but you're not going to get out on your own. Uh, the only way that I got out was by getting enough people that cared about me to climb down into that pit with me. Uh, they, may, they might not understand what depression feels like, but if they care enough to just spend time with me, just be with me, they don't even have to know what to say or what to do. It's just that aspect of caring and spending time with me that was really important for me. So I climbed out of the, that pit on the backs of my friends, my family, my youth pastors, and for me it was very important, Jesus. Uh, just relying on that and relying on the people that cared about me. Just an example of that, well, one of my youth pastors would drive down at least about once a week and pick me up before school, take me out to breakfast, and just talk about life, about running, about the Minnesota sports teams I cheered for, all these different things. It didn't have to be about my depression. Sometimes it was. Sometimes it was just talking. Um, and for me, just going out of his way, even though he had a job and a wife and a baby, that just showed that he was in this with me and he cared about me enough to try and help me out of it. And I think that's maybe the best thing I can say if you know someone that has depression or has struggled with that in the past. You don't have to know what to say or what to do or how they're feeling. You just have to be with them. And if you have depression, the best advice I can give to you, let other people in because you can't get over this on your own. Depression beats you when you curl in on yourself and lock yourself away and don't let other people in. Uh, and so that's just my experience with depression. I think now I have a much better understanding of what my identity is, that it's not about my successes or my failures or my GPA or whether you know I have a girlfriend or not, and that my identity is based on, on Christ and the relationships that I have with other people um, and who I am as a person, not the success that I'm having in these different areas. 
and not the failures that I might have in those different areas.